Thank you everyone for joining me here today. This is a little guide, uh, a little tutorial uh, to follow up with uh, Pokemon training uh, without actually going of course through the process uh, of um, grinding and grinding and grinding, uh, grinding sorry, through either levels or natures or abilities or of course uh, some other aspects of the Pokemon uh, that you may also need to take in account. This is to ease up and of course to save time and of course in the end the most important thing to make that Pokemon fully legal. Uh, in this case uh, there are some things that we need to take in account. Uh, of course you need a copy of the game Pokemon Sun or Pokemon Moon, a cartridge, a genuine cartridge, uh, no, of course, ROMs, no CIA uh, art chips, or of course, no modded ROMs too. We need a full, uh, of course, uh, fully genuine cartridge for this to be, of course, fully legit and uh, not have any kinds of issues. After that, we need to also need, very, very importantly, a modded 3DS. So, you need to have a 3DS, uh, 3DS itself. 2DS2 that um, has uh, a home channel installed or of course uh, as long as you have access to it, it should be fine too and uh, there you should have a safe manager application can be any any application that uh, of course works fine for you and that you tried on your 3DS and doesn't give you any issues that should be okay uh, and of course the third thing that you need is uh, a Pokemon that you want to have from any Pokemon that you can catch in the game or of course any Pokemon that you can uh, breed on your game too. Uh, it can be uh, any Pokemon that it's basically right now not locked by the Pokemon Bank Axis which is going to be released if I'm not mistaken at uh, January of 2017. But for now, we only have access to the Pokemons which ha which are catchable in the game. And uh, of course, those that you can get through the uh, Iceland scan feature using the QR scanner. So after that, taking all of that information into account, we're going to follow through this uh, guide. So in this case, uh, for this guide, I'm going to use it's an example. Uh, it's Segutor. Uh In this case... It's a tour uh, is going to be the Pokemon that I'm going to show you. Uh, so we're going to follow up and uh, skip ahead a bit to when, of course, <laughs> that little dumb sub right there. We get to find uh, an it's a tour, a wild it's a tour, female. As you can see, level 41. We're going to proceed and uh, catch the it's a tour with the, ma with the master ball. As you saw right there. After that, uh, as you can see, uh, I'm going to send it to a bot, and I'm going to go with Charizard to the nearest uh, Pokemon Center, and uh, in this case, the one at Seafolk Village. You can go at any Pokemon Center. There's really no need to go to any specific one. I'm just going to this one for. Uh, convenience um, just going of course right now to my computer to check so there you can see uh, of course the information about this secular that we just catched uh, so there you go uh, let me just pause right there okay so we have as I mentioned before a female level 1 uh, sorry level 41 at Segutor uh, of course my in-game name is Raphael that's the original trainer see the stats right there, just see the nature which is hardy, the frisk ability, we have the moves confusion, Psy shock, egg bomb and wood hammer. Uh, that's uh, basically uh, what we can learn from this from this uh, video. Uh, after that we're going to uh, go out of the Pokemon Center and save the game outside uh, 
this is not modifying any or anything on the room of course this is not as i mentioned before this is fully legal there is no issues with this but just to make sure because we're using a pocket heads tool which has not been fully verified to work now let's make sure that we save outside of the pokemon center and not inside to not have any kinds of issues after that you're going to go to your safe manager tool either if you have it installed on the Nintendo 3DS menu or if you have it on your home channel that's where you need to go to after we uh, save the game uh, and when we get there that's where we're going to uh, follow with a little procedure on the on the cartridge sorry for that and uh, we're going to export the save file so as you can see there uh, is the information for the cartridge you're going to click A on the on that um, axis so that you're going to see the save data options you're going to enter to that and then you're going to export that save and you're going to export that save to either uh, whichever folder that you create in this case I'm just going to save it to the one that is named Sun RD that's the one that uh, you can see there as you can see the export process has been completed As you can see there, just a bit blurry because uh, the, uh, the focus was not working correctly. Then you're going just to exit out of that app. Going back to the menu right there, I'm just going to shut down my 3DS. And uh, after that, we're going to um, we're going to take the SD card out of the 3DS. To our computer and then follow from there so after that just here of course uh, going through uh, that folder uh, let me just of course follow up here here's the uh, pocket hats tool which is going to open uh, there as you can see we have the bots the boxes with the Pokemon that I have but most importantly how that uh, how do we get there just in case that the program doesn't open up on that um, folder so for that to be uh, of course verified we need to go here on file and then on open after that we need to go to our uh, PC the main uh, folder for our uh, local disks uh, USB basically everything uh, here on this PC at that location that we follow and uh, search for our SD card folder After I will look out for our safe manager application, which is in this case uh, in my case JK safe manager Here is the little uh, Initials for each word JK safe manager then you go to your Safes folder which is most of the time it's if not all the times the indicated folder for all safe managers then you see of course the name of your game I have here Pokemon Sun and then of course Sun RD which is the folder that we use to export to that folder uh, the um, main save data for the game and then we have here of course the main uh, the main file we double click it and that's uh, that's basically how we get there after that we're going to select the Pokemon that we uh, got from the game and uh, of course that's when we can uh, see the information for the Pokemon uh, this is just a little glitch that the program has but uh, as you can see the program uh, sorry the Pokemon is fully legal so this is basically how the process starts uh, first off of course going to swap out the level 41 for a level uh, 100 going to change that nature for a brave nature after that we're going to change the friendship to Matt's uh, friendship the ability is going to be changed to hidden ability and of course after that we're going to go to the met so you can of course verify the information uh, that we saw on game uh, the original game is Sun the met location is the Tsigitor Island 
as you saw in the video we catched it with the master ball we made it at level 41 and the date of course uh, was uh, on the 21st of December possibly passed uh, on the video possibly the same day but just to make sure this is just the date uh, also of course and we know for a fact that it was a female one as you can see it's a female here in the stats it's going to make a little change to the EVs and there's something that is very important uh, right here do not touch at all the IVs leave them the same way as you see them right here those should never uh, be changed that um, that will be the best uh, choice after all because if we change these the legality of our Pokemon it's uh, going to be basically deleted we don't want to change anything in the IVs because that's basically the most important thing that uh, many people consider when someone follows of course and makes uh, modded or uh, makes quote unquote of course illegal Pokemon because basically this process uh, of uh, generating Pokemons that many people use makes po perfect Pokemons utilizing an IV tool to change all of their uh, stats and uh, that basically is uh, making the Pokemon not uh, legal le legally done in the eyes of all Nintendo and Pokemon associations because you're basically getting uh, all perfect um, stats through a bad uh, access and that's not actually uh, very plausible to game because you get random values when you bred your Pokemon at the Paniola Ranch uh, Nurse Center so basically it's not it's not good to have a fully um, Pokemon with full IVs and to be honest of course that is going to be the main thing that we need to avoid during this process we don't need to modify at all those IVs we need to leave them exactly the same way as when we catch that Pokemon so after that uh, going here through the attacks first we need to uh, go on a, a little uh, website Bulbapedia and uh, we're going to go to the Exeggutor just a little uh, you could say shortcut <laughs> and then here we're going to check uh, the moves that Exeggutor can learn we want to take moves from there also here you can check uh, sorry you can check the uh, stats for its executor and that way you could actually of course decide the stats for him I decided for him to be a attack an attack based Pokemon uh, with the break nature a positive attack nature with less of course a negative speed so uh, we and the most important thing to check here is actually the moves that it can learn through level up and the moves that it can learn through uh, the actual uh, TMs so I'm just going to use all legal moves we have here Dragon Hammer Wood Hammer we have here on the TMs for our low and Executor Protect and we also have the Sludge Bomb so we swap here. We swap out here the um, the wood hammer. We're going to uh, put here protect. Here the dragon hammer. And here the sludge bomb. There we go. Um, actually, uh, maybe also a good choice to use the uh, rest, but you choose which is the best option for you. 
as you saw here all of these moves are legal the wood hammer and the dragon hammer are here up on all the moves that it can learn to level up dragon hammer wood hammer and by tm we have here protect and we have also the sludge bomb here on the tm30 sets and the ot which is my in-game name Raphael uh, uh, that's the that should be left the same way no issue with that so, and uh, basically that's all that's all we can uh, change without making the, the Pokemon uh, having any changes to that process and now here to my of course explanation on why this uh, change uh, won't affect the legality of the Pokemon so we did change level, nature, friendship, ability. We did change the EV spread. We did change the attacks. Now basically, I would change. And uh, of course, uh, these moves that we changed from it, uh, or actually all of this information that was changed from it, has a very um, important, but yet of course similar similarities throughout all of them all of these are based on time actually you're not making any illegal adjustments to the pokemon all of these things that we did change are dead to save time and in the end you're not basically uh, doing any illegal stuff to this pokemon or anything that be, could be considered illegal basically everything is left the same way as you can see you're just making the pokemon uh, fully uh, trainable all, all the way up to the level 100 you're changing the nature uh, you don't have to go through that grinding uh, to get it to level 100 you don't have to use anymore of course a Pokemon with synchronized to get the nature that you need uh, you just get of you just put of course the nature the friendship is also also uh, sorry also that you waste time on that to get it uh, just giving the Pokemon items and of course uh, walking around the city, the the Pokemon uh, world that you're playing the game in. That's how the Pokemon raises up the friendship, and uh, you're just also saving time by giving it uh, full friendship. Same goes for the ability on this game. Uh, you're just basically saving yourself some time because if you go through a chain with the adrenaline orb, um, you basically will get uh, a Pokemon with the hidden ability after a third chain. So. To faint the Pokemon, you leave one alive, and then that Pokemon, when it's in danger, it calls for another Pokemon, and that's basically how it goes. Uh, uh, the Met, as you see, we didn't change anything here. This one uh, for a fully and more, of course, efficient way to leave it without no issues at all is the best to leave it the same way. This is the place that we do find the Pokemon, so definitely do not change any information here on the Met tab. Uh, the stats, of course, I'll, as you saw, we just uh, save us some time uh, to not go through that process with the Pokeros or the power items. Uh, we did just change the EVs uh, right away, uh, spread them out where we want them to be to make the Pokemon, uh, of course, uh, ready and leave it ready for a battle. The IVs, as I mentioned before, uh, these are going to be left the same way. And uh, at the end, of course, we're going to do something about them for them to of course not be left for this Pokemon to be basically uh, not doable for competitive battling and of course for the best set that we could have on it so also the attacks as you saw before uh, once again all of them are uh, legal attacks wood hammer dragon hammer protect here on the on the TMs and also of course uh, we have here this sludge bomb all of them are legal moves we're not using anything that of course is considered illegal on the pokemon all of these are moves that of course we are stitching to it uh, right away without going through the hassle of going to the move tutor and getting the hard scales and anything like that of course not saying that that's a, a time wasting process actually in this generation the process to teach pokemon moves it has been pretty easy uh, that's uh that's basically uh, a very easy process to to actually uh get done in this game there's no issue with that 
but then we come of course to the most important part what we're going to do about those IBs uh, those are uh, actually not bad per se but they are not good uh, so they're kind of in the middle so yeah they're quite lacking still but of course not horrible what of course the the issue here is that we need to get those up to make this Pokemon totally trainable so what we're going to do if we're not going to change those through this uh, tool pocket heads we did change everything that we could without breaking the Pokemon legality just basically doing any change that we could do to the Pokemon to save time and not to break any rules on the on the game so here comes the next step in this process which is going to go to your items and uh, here on the second uh, tab you're going to look up for a gold bottle cap if you don't have any I, I may suggest of course to give all and then of course everything is going to appear here on your items every item is going to appear and you're going to get full amount of everything here on your items or you can go ahead and uh, just uh, on an empty spot choose the item and then just uh, click on it that's going to go here right now and uh, type in gold bottle cap so that's there and uh, here on the count if you want one 100 uh, and the maximum number one 999 you can do that too and uh, after the, uh, you choose the number you can basically click here and save and get all of those bottle caps in your game so basically you get the number here of battle cups that you want for all the number of Pokemon that you want to fully train and that's basically it um, after that you click on save I'm here just going to cancel because I already have that uh, and uh, of course uh, most importantly uh, after uh, after all of this process you need to uh, basically bring the Pokemon here to your bots and uh, that's uh, that's the end of that process here that we follow on the computer uh, after that of course you just need to export that save data so you need to go here to file export save export main and then export that very same data to the same folder for uh, that you had it before for at least of a process if you wish to you can create a new folder here inside of the Pokemon Sun folder but I may suggest to use the very same folder that you used the last time so you go here and then click on save and then after that of course we're going to uh, close the tool you're going to uh, of course uh, close this and then after that you're just going to safely uh, eject your SD card and then you're going to get back to your 3DS so here after that third process we're back on the 3DS uh, this is uh, this is needed of course to follow with this procedure uh, to beat the game and then of course uh, after you beat the game to get the fully trained Pokemon so you put the SD card back in on your Nintendo 3DS so because as you saw there uh, there was the genuine copy of Pokemon Sun right now the 3DS is uh, Turning on. After that, uh, we're back on the um, on the game, uh, and we're going to go first and foremost to the same application, uh, the JK Safe Manager in my case. But uh, you, of course, can use whichever Safe Manager that you use to export the Safe Main data from your uh, 3DS. So um, as you can see here right now that application is loading up. Uh, when we get to the main menu of uh, your safe manager, you're going to go this time to cartridge or of course uh, the uh, main uh, exportation uh, or importation uh, medium access that you may have on your uh, application uh, that is referred of course 
to that option to our cartridge and not to the SD saves that you may have then you go to the save data and then this time you don't go to export you go to import and then you choose the folder in this case the Sun RD is the folder that I choose to save then I want to restore it so I press A to restore the main save has been completed then after that you exit all the way out of the application and then of course you go into your game to see the uh, the first results of this process and verify the information that we saw before so uh, right now the, the game access is uh, loading up so we uh, go into the game right now as you saw there we saved there before we, we're getting in uh, back to the Pokemon Center to your computer to verify that everything is all all right and uh, as we can see there uh, we have the one at say you tour so we're going right now to the this is the level 41 at say you tour and of course that's the one that we used to trap and that's the one that we just created the one with the wood hammer protect and dragon uh, dragon hammer sludge bomb the nature break nature hidden ability harvest the uh, trainer trainer name uh, was of course my in game name Raphael level 100 female everything seems to be in place so we we follow with the process and uh, uh, sorry actually we're going to move it now to our party and that we're going to follow out with the next step with the next step to make this Pokemon fully competitive uh, here's where here's the part where the actual uh, gold bottle cup uh, bottle cup plays part so we're going to use Charizard or uh, we're go if we're already there on the Mele Mele Island uh, we can go to the shopping district you need to go to the Pokemon Center in the shopping district as you see there on the Howley City so we go there using uh, in this case I'm using the uh, Charizard Clive um, if you're already there on Mele Mele Island you can use the same medium or you can use other source or a uh, way of getting there or by any means of course we're going to go to the right into the shopping center it's uh, it's actually right beside the Pokemon Center so we go there directly uh, into the center upstairs and then of course to the right the first uh, three people that we found the one in the middle with the red shirt that's the uh, person that takes care of training our Pokemon the hyper training as I mentioned before this is available when we beat the game after you beat the Elite Four this, this becomes available so there's the Exeggutor that we just got from our bots the one that we, uh, the one that we just um, modified here with pocket heads without breaking any rules at all fully legal just basically changing the information that we need to save us some time and not making any kind of adjustment to make that Pokemon illegal right now it's going to boost up everything and get the, uh, all these stats uh, hyper trained to make the Pokemon fully uh, competitive and have it ready for uh, battling uh, on a Wi-Fi competitive level uh, with your friends basically anything that you may want to do with it it's uh it's good for everything so that's basically what we need to do when it comes to the hyper training and uh, of course after this we're just going to show you that the Pokemon it's fully functional on the on the online access and that we don't have any issues or any permissions as of now to play with this Pokemon online because of course to start with 
Uh, there shouldn't be any issues at all. This is a fully legal Pokemon. We haven't adjusted or changed anything on that Pokemon to make it uh, illegal or, of course, a modded Pokemon. So right now, just for you to check, we're going to go on the computer. Uh, check on that I want to see your information. Uh, just for you to check once again there, the Hood Hammer, the Trainer, the Ability, the Nature, the Moves, the Trainer, the Level, everything is in place. I'm going to click on Judge for you to check that uh, potential. As you can see, it's a fully trained Pokemon, outstanding potential, no issues at all. Everything is fully trained, beautifully, ready to battle, no issues, fully legal Pokemon for you to use on the Wi-Fi or of course for any anything that you may like to use it for. Just for you to see, we're going right now on the Festival Plaza going to uh, battle going to visit the battle spot and uh, right now we're going to get connected to the internet just for you to check and see that it's fully functional it's in our team and of course it's uh it won't have any any issues to go through the Nintendo servers check This is basically just to save time. That's basically the the key the, the key things that we get from doing this. The key thing, the key uh, important thing that we get. Uh, we we save us uh, a great deal of time. Actually, there is a little, uh, you could say, uh, just a little recap. But here, of course, back to the to the video where we're going to to join the Wi-Fi battle. Here, back on the battle spot through a rating battle, actually, not a free battle, a rating battle. Just for you to check that this is a. Uh, fully legal checking the SD card right now it's uh it's going to check the Pokemon legality just in a second you choose the type of battle and then after that you're going to be asked to choose your team so there you can see there's the female of and Sigidor that we got on our team the same team as before we confirm the team we of course uh, choose that party to battle with is checking the battle team and voila we went through that process with no issues at all and everything is going fine so there as you can see there's no problems the the Pokemon test went beautifully and uh, of course everything seems to be fine with that Pokemon they didn't break any rules no issues with that and uh, fully functional to be used on Wi-Fi and fully legal without not breaking any kinds of rules as of course I mentioned before um, this is a hyper train procedure and uh, not of course modifying any IBs is very very important for this to work to make it fully legal and not have any kind of issues with that Pokemon with Nintendo with Pokemon or any corporation and of course that Pokemon uh, as a little uh, disclaimer, it's not going to be able to be bred to get full IBs because uh, hyper training doesn't uh, doesn't really make the Pokemon a set type of Pokemon. It just makes the stats look like a set type of Pokemon, but it's not really a set type of Pokemon. So that's for you, uh, just for you to know. Um, Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you find this information very useful. And I hope to actually um, make another video in the future regarding another matters. Um, this uh, turn was uh, of Pokemon. Maybe next time uh, we'll see 
how everything goes with the Nintendo Switch and uh, with the upcoming reveal. Just uh, sorry for not being uh, this time around uh, able to talk about it. Uh, that console is uh, already the internet is flooded with articles about it. And of course, uh, I don't feel like I have, as of now, any new information to give you about it. So, uh, if I'm not going to give anything useful, of course, or anything brand new or fresh to this round table, I don't see any need to add my uh, opinion on it. So, thank you very much for watching. And once again, I hope that you uh, just found this video useful for your competitive battling in Pokemon. Or of course for any purpose thank you very much have a nice day and thank you for watching once again